Okay, so I'm doing a bunch of uh, testing for air, indoor air quality, looking at um, PM 2.5, PM 10, CO2. I've been uh, adding in some ventilation. This, the uh, temperature and humidity on this TempTop M2000C is not accurate. But you can see my humidity in here is high, and we've got a high wall, which is on a multi-zone MXZ, and it's always kind of struggled. I'm gonna make some additional alterations, but I wanted to try this Cielo Breeze which is this guy here, it actually sends infrared signals out the corners and can adjust the settings. So right now I'm in dry mode. Now what I was hoping that this would do, because it has a humidity sensor in it, that I could actually adjust uh, and set the humidity in dry mode on the Mitsubishi, because the thing I don't like about these is that they, they dehumidify pretty well in dry mode, but you can't control humidity or temperature. So I thought maybe I could do that with this, and unfortunately it doesn't allow that. I've put in that request from the manufacturer and they said they're gonna look at it, but it is interesting how it works, and so I just wanted to show that. So we can change it in between different modes. So let's go ahead and put it in uh, cool mode here so you can see that. So I can change the temperature set points pretty easily by just putting it in cool, and then when it goes back, now it's in cool mode, now I can set the temperature using this, and this is, you know, maybe a little easier than using the remote control. The only downside to it is, is it has to be plugged in. It can either be plugged in via 24 volts using these connections right here, or via the kind of typical, I guess it's six volt, five volt, I think it's six volt. Uh, plug-in that I have on the jack. This is just kind of a typical um, Android style USB micro type of connector connected into the wall. So that isn't always going to be convenient, but there may be cases if you've got an end table underneath the ductless system or nearby where you can use this and people may find this to be better control than say a typical remote control. So this is how the app looks. You can see you can set up multiple devices, which is, you know, I can see how this would be nice if you had multiples in a house. Um, you can make some adjustments. I do like how you can uh, adjust the humidity and temperature on the device. I think that's a nice feature. Um, and then you can open it up and actually adjust the different modes, which is quite a bit easier. You can hear it just went into dry mode and I can change swing position and fan speed right here, which I think is also nice. So I think it's an interesting device, probably doesn't replace the wall mounted controls um, that the manufacturers recommend, but it does work with a wide range of different dockless equipment, which is a nice feature. And that is the Cielo Breeze Plus. Didn't do what I hoped it would do, but I can see how it might be useful for some other applications. Okay, stop the presses, stop the presses. Um, this actually does what I was hoping it would do. It does it in kind of a strange way and it may not be perfect in all applications, but you just hit the device that you wanna work with, go down to eSaver and go to My Rules. And what I've set up, you can set it based on humidity, you can set it based on temperature, but you set your own rules. So if room temperature falls below 69 degrees, turn the power off. If room temperature goes above 72 degrees, power on in dry mode with low airflow. And I can adjust the airflow. I could put it on auto if I wanted, which might be a little better in this case. Um, but it's very, uh, very interesting. Now, the only thing I don't know is it still has this 75 locked in there. And so I'm not sure if that is uh, gonna work perfectly. But if I didn't wanna do it this way, if I didn't wanna run it based on temperature, I could at least just run it based on a humidity sensing. And so it, that would be another way of doing that. So anyhow, gives you the ability to signal the equipment, which is exactly what I was hoping it would do. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.